Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be a guide on where to find each of the legendary dragons in Nexomon Extinction. Now, for those of you who don't know, in order to gain access to the dragons, you'll need to beat the main story and then interact with Lydia. Upon doing so, she'll appear in 9 different areas where you'll have to interact with her and use a special item called a tribute to summon a dragon. There are 9 tributes in total. Each tribute can be found in a vault and each vault requires a key to enter. I've made two separate guides going over the vault key locations and the vault locations and both are a prerequisite to this video. So make sure that you got all 9 dragon tributes from all 9 vault locations before moving forward. Anyways, with all that being said, let's jump right in. For the first dragon, Wyvern, you're going to have to teleport to the Outlands Crystal. From there, head south. From this area, head to the southeast corner. From here, you're going to want to head to the northeast exit, which will bring you to an abandoned city area. Just head as far north as you can and go interact with Lydia. This will initiate the fight with the normal type drake. For the next one, proceed to the Ignita Crystal and head north. Keep going north until you get to this location and then head west. Follow the path around these tyrant remains and Lydia will be standing next to a chest. Interacting with her will summon the Fire Drake Draken. Next, you're going to want to head to the Frozen Tundra Crystal, then proceed to head south out of the city. Keep heading south until you reach this area here, then head west. From here, follow the path. Once you see that ladder, go up and then exit north. Lydia will be chilling just up ahead. Interact with her to summon the Ice Drake, Glamond. Next we're going to head over to Palmia. From the crystal, head south and you're basically just going to keep heading south and then southwest until you reach a platform. Interacting with her will summon Volta the Electric Drake. There are two drakes near the Immortal Citadel and both are quite simple to find. For the first, head east from the crystal. Then past the house. Further east. Then down these set of stairs. Just follow off to the east and you'll see Lydia and then you can summon the Ghost Drake Cranal. The second one could be found on the opposite side of the citadel. From the crystal head west through the graveyard. Once you see this area you can summon Mistugan the Psychic Drake. Next up, you're going to teleport to the Lataria Crystal and exit the city via the west exit. From here, simply head north and follow the path until you meet Lydia. This interaction will summon the Earth Drake Graloon. Now we're going to teleport over to the Hidden Village Crystal and head south. From here exit to the east and then head east. You'll see a couple mushrooms, you can cross them and then follow the path. At the end you'll see Lydia and she'll summon Boss Cage, the Plant Drake. 
Finally, last but not least, you're going to have to teleport to Drake Isles. From the crystal, you're going to head south out of the city and follow the path. From here, head west. Then from here, head north, and Lydia will be standing on this platform. Interacting with her will summon Tyrake, the Drake of Wind. So yeah guys, that was just a short video outlining where each and every legendary Drake is located in Nexomon Extinction. Make sure to stay tuned for more Nexomon guides and breakdowns, as well as other monster taming content. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe, check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon, and until next time, peace.